hello guys welcome to my channel i will be showing you how to achieve an off shoulder dress the one i'll be showing you will have rough i already have a tutorial yes a rough like this i already have it i already did a tutorial on how to achieve the rough the rough around the shoulder i posted that if a few days ago so these are my fabrics i have organza here as you can see and then i have a lace fabric yeah the organza is 10 yards the lace is about three yards and then and this is the bridal satin underlay you can also you can also use crepe fabric but i'll be using a um, bridal satin doll face here and i have my cutting lining and my zip i can also i also use the the satin for my lining i use it to line the upper part okay then the cutting lining for the down part and here is my zip okay so here this is my body's body's block i already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodies okay so these bodies will be altered to an off shoulder as you can see so this off shoulder this bodies is modified so i'll be showing you how to modify your basic bodies block to an off shoulder so alter your basic bodies block to an off shoulder sorry and i also mod and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so thank you bodies block has a snatched waist so i snatched so i'll be doing the modification so shoulder to my waistline so this is my waistline and you know the back and the front is not the same so i'll be explaining the front first before i'll go over to the back okay so now for my waist now for you, when you're snatching your waist you don't just guess your dart you don't guess you don't guess your dart your dart uh, measurement is there is a, a formula to it so what i did is to get your your uh, boss palm your boss palm my the boss palm for this um, um bodies is 3.5 so i measured my 3.5 i drew a straight line down six to six inches this 3.5 also and then i extended to the boss point so the boss point is 10 inches so i measured 3.5 also to it and i drew a straight line so from the waist down is six inches same as the back okay waist is 30 so it's 7.5 okay same as the back 7.5 for my bust line now from a straight line i drew a straight line to my hip line okay so you can see the hip line here so what i have here now i now have an ss here so what i did i measured this ss here i have 2.28 2.2 so i took the 2.2 the this is my normal waist i measured i added from the 2.2 i came here i just placed it on the 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 ss so i have 4.4 so it's almost 4.5 but it's not up to 5 so 4.4 so is this 4.4 i got so 4.4 divided by 6 will give me 0 0.5 0 0.7 so it's 0 0.7 is what i'll use to create my dad so from this center point here i'll come in here i'll i'll measure my 0 0.7 i measure 0 0.7 here and then i'll repeat the same to the back also I measure so this is the waist don't confuse this is the underboss this is the waistline okay so i measured 0 0.7 here from this center line so what i did is i i used my um, um boss fan measurement also to get this that line so from the center back to the center uh, to this point here is 3.5 so from this 3.5 i came down six inches and i came up six inches okay and then i i marked my 0 0.6 here 0 0.7 here 0 0.7 here and then i connect with a straight line so this is how i got my dart so it doesn't end there after getting your dart that same 0 0.7 that you marked that you marked to get your dart you come here from your waistline you come out you still mark that same 0 0.7 so now this will be your new waistline i don't know if you are getting me so this will be your new waistline so it's more like you're adding just one part of the of the dart leaving the other one okay so you mark your 7 point, uh, 0 0.7 here also you come to the back also you mark your 0 0.7 also right then with a dotted line you connect back to your hip line and then you connect back to your bust point line your bust line measurements all right so this line is 17 why the nip to waist for the back is 15.5 so that's difference 1.5 that is how i got this measure so from this bust point here from this um bust point you come down 1.5 you already know this it's part of this one is there in the tutorial i have of basic body my i folded the that into two i 
do and then I connected the line. This line that is not straight, I connected it back. So you can see it's not straight for me. I connected it back and then I drew a straight line. This part that was folded in, I drew a straight line and then I connect. So this is how it goes. Now, so now to our under bust now, you mark your under bust measurement from your shoulder to under, from the shoulder to under bust for this person. Now it's 13.5. So this is my, so you can see my 13.5. So this is 13.5. Yes. So I'll square across. Okay. So, so this is the 30.5 for the back. Okay. So from here, you can see the 13.5. So we, okay, it's 30, 30 inches. So I'll measure the under bust here like this. So I'll place my tip here. I'll stop at the uh, this dart leg here. And then I'll come over to this second dart leg here. I'll come and then I'll stop here. So what I have here now, so what I have is 7, 7.4. Five. So I'll come over to the back also with my 7.4. I'll start off from here 7.4. I'll continue the measurement. So I'll stop before my dart leg and then I'll pick it. So this is 11.2. So I'll come from here, place my 11.2. I'll connect it back to this part. So what I have is 14 point, um, 14.2. So my under boss, the pattern under boss is 14.2. So pattern under bust, pattern under bust is 14.2, 14 to 8 for circumference. Under bust circumference is 30. Okay. So now this 30 now, you divide it by 2, you give you what? 15. So this 15, you subtract this 50 from the 14.2. So when you subtract 15, so whichever one is bigger, I'll mark my 48 here. So here I'll mark for it. Connect from the boss point now. I'll connect it to my under bust. And then from here, I'll connect to the under bust to the waist. And then from here also, I'll connect to the waist. Okay. So this is my under bust now. So from my waist, I came down nine inches. That's this is my hip line. So my hip line from my waist to the knee line is um I, I got my knee line. Then from my waist to the floor to the uh, ankle length. So the back waist measurement, I I came in so from back tightened to avoid any bulge at all. I came in from the waist. I came in zero point five. So I connected zero point five to the hip line at the center back. So this is the center back. This is center back. So from here. I connect also so from my hip line I came down 1.5 you can come down two inches so from here these two in um, these two inches i i got my so yeah 10.5 so here i have yes i have nine point here i connected it and i this is how i placed it to the one inch you can see so this this part here this copy part here should be around the one I connected with my curve i i drew a line so i marked it out with the curve okay so now you can see this line now it's not it's just so by the time i look it's going to this part is going to point out so what i did is just to blend so i came back i placed my curve so from this one this my underbot here from this my hip before the hip line i just blended it so it won't be sharp Okay, and then I blended it here. So that is now over to the off shoulder. Now, what you need to do first of all is to get your round shoulder. Your round shoulder. So what I'm working with here is 40. So 40, ideally, I should divide the, the front should be 10, the back should be 10, left sleeve 10, right sleeve 10. But I'll be doing 12 for the front, 12 for the back, and then each of the sleeves 8, 8. Okay, so that will mean I'll be dividing those ones by 2. So I'll be dividing the front also. 12 divided by 2 by by 2 will give me 6. So I'll be working from my off shoulder. So I measured where how off she wanted it. So it's 3 inches. So I'll I've marked the 3.5 inch, right? So I just measured from my shoulder line to the to the these three inches here. So I got five. So I need a straight line. So I'll mark my five here. So so I'll be able to get a straight line. Okay, so this is my three inches. This is my straight line off. So this line will be our off the shoulder sleeve. Connect out from my boss point here. I'll draw a straight line up. I'll draw a straight line. I'll draw a straight line up. Okay, so now we need a dart here. 
Okay, so you remember we are working with 12. Okay, we are working with 12. So this 12 now, we divide it by 2. This 12, we divide it by 2. So the, the whole front should be about 12 inches. So from one end to the other end. So from one chest line to the other chest line on your front should be 12 inches. So you know this is half. So we'll be dividing it into 2. Okay, so when we divide into 2, we'll have is 6. Okay, so we'll measure from here. You can see we have more than 6. So this is what I have here. So I have six inches already. So it's six inches actually we wanted. So what I have extra, it says here, I have like one, two, three, I have one to eight. So is this one to eight we used to create a dart, the sleeve. I'll blend it back to my armhole. So the one inch, I'll be creating a one inch dart here. Or you can exhaust it so I can decide to do, I can decide to do one, um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 here. So this is what I have, 0 0.5. 0 .5. So this, I have my one inch already. Okay, I have my one inch already. So the remaining to eight here, I'll just blend it back to my armhole. Okay, inches. Remember, it's five inches. We came down from the shoulder. That's from the shoulder line. It's five inches. Okay, so this is five to achieve that. Okay, so this is my five inches. Okay, so I'll just be using the 3.5 inches that i use to get my that leg center that leg so i'll connect as well so this is what 12 inches so 12 also divided by 2 is 6 okay so this is your 6 inches you can see so what we did to the back we're also doing to the front so this is 6 inches okay so what we have here now we have we have one the same thing one to eight so so i can now for this now because there is no that because there's no bust at the back, we can't contour the back inch at the back. So I'll be contouring the back, assuming we are doing a, a zip. So out of the one to eight, I've, I've, I already came in one, one, um, 0 0.5, that's half inch. So this is my half inch. So I'll connect my back this way from, from my waistline, connect it. So you are trying to, to snatch the back so that it won't, it won't be gapy to be firm. So out of the, um, it's going to be so now. So this is where my armhole began from. So I'll just connect from here back to my armhole. So I now have a new armhole. So you, you can decide not to do this. You can decide to just mark everything from here. So if I decide to connect from here, so I, I, I can also do this, okay? From just mark it from the six inches, just connect it back to the, what it, will, it means that your armhole, your, and who will be also you can decide to come down this way if you are so you can decide to come down this way okay come down some more on your neckline but now i'm not coming down coming down from the front that one inch from the front so from this part here so close the dots now it may not be equal okay so it's equal from the center front here so try and close your dart for some for some it may not be equal so that's why after joining you discover that one part is longer than one so if you discover that it's not equal so you do six inches okay so you can see now after coming down i still have less than i it's still more so i can i will come down here or i create a, a dart here and connect so let me just do this. So this is so this is my off the shoulder for for this um tutorial. I hope it's clear. Like I said, I can do a full body block again. Come in on the back. So I want to create a back loop. So this is our back. The back is straight. Okay, like I said, you can decide to still come down on your back in with this is the back I'm working with, not this. Okay on this pattern when i came in this 0 0.5 inch on the back waistline i replaced it back here you can see so this is this replaced line you see that's why you should watch to the end so you don't miss out on any details because sometimes i remember that is why i'll be saying it so this is the back tightening this is the dart line without without back tightening and then this is your dart line alone so i'll come measure from here so i'm doing one point i'm doing 1.5 for the back okay so i'll do 1.5 for the back and then for the the front 
I'm doing 2.5. So you know this 1.5 now means this 2.5 means it's I'm opening by five because 2.5 on the other side and then this three inches. So I'll connect with a straight line. Okay. So at the end of this, I'll be closing the dart for the back. I won't be using it. I'll, I won't be sewing it. I'll be closing it. So so this is the part I'll cut. Now, so let me cut from the dart leg. So this is what I'm cutting. Okay. So I'll close... I'll cut so what I did here. I'll mark 1.5. I wrote 1.5 inch and then 2.5 inch. So I know that I took out 1.5 from here and then took out 2.5 from here. Okay, so I'm cutting it out. All right, so what I'll just do now is to close. I'll close the, the dart leg. Okay. Let me just let me open this part. So close this part. This is it for the front, and this is it for the back. So we'll go straight to the down part. can see how the back is now so this is where your butt is going to sit and this is how it's going to look like okay so this is the center front and then this is the center back okay over to the sleeve now so i'll be doing a very short sleeve now you can actually do without the sleeve for the ruffle off shoulder dress but i'll be doing a short sleeve so that my client can easily take the ruffles out if she doesn't want so the length will be five inches okay so five inches will be the length of the sleeve but yours you can do your yours the length you desire okay so i'm measuring my five inches then after which i i squared across that will be the end uh, that's the, the the hem of my sleeve Leave, okay and then from there i will measure my five inches accurately that's my correct five inches and then i will measure the remember our um, off shoulder for the sleeve is eight inches right each of the sleeves have eight eight inches of that around shoulder so i'll be marking my eight inches divided by two that's four so on the top line i'll be marking my four inches that's my off shoulder for the sleeve you know it will be on food now you want to get a cap height so i'll measure my pattern to the to my bust line measurement so from the pattern on my pattern paper i have three inches so i'll be marking my for my cap height i'll be marking three inches on my sleeve pattern okay so i'll mark the three inches okay from to the center front and then i'll square also i'll square across so that will be my cap height line so that cap height line is where i'm going to fix my like my bust measurement like my bust measurement for the sleeve and then i will now i'll now um curve it and then fix my round arm hole measurement okay my uh, sorry my arm um my bicep measurement so now i'm marking my four inches remember the four inches i marked uh, we talked about uh, the eight inches we removed so that's my four inches okay and then on the cap height line i measured my boss divided by six plus 1.5 so after which you use your curve and then you curve it from your four inches to the um like the bust line for the sleeve okay so that will give you whatever you have there is what so you can just use then you place your sorry you place your your round arm measurement okay your circumference of your round arm so if you are doing long sleeve make sure you measure the the circumference and then you place it so whatever allowance you are adding on your body that is what you add on your sleeve so so on the armhole i did one inch for the on the bust line for the bodies and i'm also doing one inch on my pattern okay on my sleeve so that is it. what you need to do now is to add your seam allowance okay so this is it so the other thing you need to do now after adding your seam allowance you can just get your pattern and then trace it place it together to be sure that you are correct if it's shorter you can see it's a bit a little bit like to eight or 0 0.5 inch um, um excess on the pattern so you can correct you can as well leave it okay and then after doing that you check for the back sleeve also so you can also 
do it when after cutting your sleeves you can cut when you, after cutting your pattern you can also do it on your main sleeve not on the pattern so here i've added here already and then i'll add here i'll add my seam allowance and then this is the center part of the sleeve so i'll cut so this is off of the shoulder yeah so off shoulder sleeve is ready so guys this is the back i've gone ahead to cut the fabric and the on, uh, underlay so i cut the underlay first so i use this gum so this is the gum i used to to gum it so i use the gum to gum it to the lace okay so this is the back and this is the front this is the front okay and then i also cut lining so the lining i cut is short i cut a short line it's going to stop before the slit so this is the back and then this is the front so this is the lining for this okay so same with this so this is the side this is the center front as the door face to cut the so this is the front and this is the back this is the back so i'll go and sew and then this is the sleeve so this is the sleeve and this is the panel so this is the modesta modesty panel so this is so this will be the panel around the back okay so i'll be showing you also how to attach this panel so you can see it's extended it didn't stop around the waist okay all right so and I use this also to gum this after ironing surface I used I iron the interface on on the under under the that's the door face and then and I I now gum the so guys this is what I've done so far so this is the panel the modesta panel to cover the back and then I fix the eyelet I have a tutorial on how to fix an eyelet and then this is simple I just I got a strip wide enough and i i sew it this way maybe my next tutorial will do um my next tutorial will show you in detail how you can fix this panel okay how i got my sleeve i cut a shape so you can see the way it is so this is what i have i cut two of these so i cut i i cut out my lace and i open it i'll use i place one behind as the underlay and then i use the second one as the lining so i turn i the other will be the underlay then i'll place this one on the wrong side and then the other on the right side and then i'll sew i'll turn and then when i turn it everything will be here then i'll just fold this side and then i fold this side and then i'll sew it down to cover it so that is why you can see this is how it is okay so i haven't done that so I also did um, I I did an invisible boning so I fixed an invisible bone you can see the bone the bone is on the lining not on the main fabric even the uh, the the bra cup the bra cup is on the lining as well so there is nothing on you can see there is nothing on the main fabric everything is on the lining the boning and everything